Hi everyone, it's time for another uh, makeup basket. My makeup basket videos usually um, encompass my makeup for about two weeks and that is the case in this um, video as well. I have a bit of a variety going on this time around because I wasn't sure what I wanted to use and um, actually when I was on vacation I left a few of my makeup um, items there so um, I now have um, I don't have as much to pick and choose from as I used to have and I just wanted to have at least in my makeup basket a bit um, of a variety that I can just uh, mix and match from. So I'm going to start with um, my face products and um, for a base I always use my Bare Minerals Primetime Foundation Primer. This is a product I quite like. It is cruelty free and this will stay in until it is gone. For my foundation, I have decided to put in a new one because um, my old one actually um, was completely empty. So um, now I'm using the Rebel Photo Ready in number 001 Ivory. Uh, this is, if I remember correctly, my last non-cruelty free foundation. So I'm trying to use this one up now. For concealers, I have um, the same old, my Catrice Liquid Camouflage in 010 Corselin and my Catrice Camouflage Cream in 010 Ivory. I use these all the time, they are cruelty free, so there's that. Then, for powder, I'm still working on my MAC um, Blood Powder Pressed in the shade Light. I finally have a new um, bronzer in here and this is my Physicians Formula Bronze Booster in Fair to Light. And for blushes I have three options right here. I have the e.l.f. blush in the shade uh, Mellow Mauve. And this is it. This is a mauve shade. It's probably a tad bit cool tone but I have it on my cheeks today right here. And I quite like this. And then I decided to keep in my Manhattan um, Powder Rouge in Golden Brown. Now, um, I've mentioned this before, I'm not too much of a fan of this, but um, I want to at least um, hit pan. And lastly, I have my um, MAC Blush in Style. And this is just a corally shade, which I like a lot. And as a... Um, Blush slash highlighter, I am using this guy here. This is a new product for me. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie um, to reflect um, shimmer palette in a rosé champagne glow. Now, um, I wasn't sure when I bought it if this was a blush or a um, highlighter. Um, I think it is a highlighter, so I'm going to use it for that. And I'm going to probably just um, have it over overlap with my regular blush. And um, it's just beautiful, honestly. For eye products, I am still using my MAC Paint Pot in Nubal. This is it. It's just a uh, skin colored shade with a slight sheen to it. And I have my uh, Manhattan Endless Day Eyeshadow Pen in Onto. This broke, as you may know, and um, it's just getting a pain in the butt because the cap doesn't sit properly. So I frequently actually um, have the cap and the actual product in my basket. Um, just lying around loosely, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this in the future. Then um, I have my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden in here. Um, this is um, getting old, so I'm just trying to use this whenever I don't feel like using the MAC um, Paint Pot. As um, eyeshadows, I am using my Urban Decay Naked Palette. It's just the first one, and I like the colors a lot, so I'm trying to get a bit more use out of that. And of course, I am also going to keep this palette in. This is a custom palette that just has um, a range of different eyeshadows in it. Um, the top row is all MAC shadows. This is um, all that glitters. This is Tetatom. And this is Woodwind. Then in the middle row, we have um, first up the MAC shadow in Brown Script. Is it Brown Script or Brown? No. Brown Script. This one is a Coastal Sense Hot Pot in ME24. This is a Cosmetic Cosmo eyeshadow, which is a German brand in brown gold. This is another Cosmetic Cosmo eyeshadow in Bordeaux gold. This is a Coastal Sense Hot Pot in MEHP. Is it HP? HPME06. And this is a Coastal Sense Hot Pot in HPME04. 
So I'm gonna keep those in because I just like the colors and I want to use them up. And I'm also keeping um, my Manhattan Trio in here in my Precious China. It has a plummy shade, it has a, a mint shade and a silver shade with a mint and a purple um, shimmer. As a uh, single eyeshadow, I'm still working on my Max Factor Wild Shadow Pot in Burnt Bark. And this is a taupey shade. Now, uh, this has suffered a bit and um, the pan has come loose, so I don't know what to do with it. But I want to hit pan for a project pan here. And I also still have my um, BC Pigment in Gossip in here. This is a teal shade with golden reflex, which never shows up on camera, unfortunately. Um, but I'm trying to use this up um, by the end of the year, and if I don't use it, I'm just going to throw it out. For my um, brow highlight, I am using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. I have quite liked this um, for the past couple weeks already, so um, I'm just going to continue using this one. My eyeliners are still the uh, Churn It Up Contour and Light Kajal in 010. This is just a matte black. Then um, my Urban Decay 24-7 liner in Bourbon, which is a slightly shimmery brown. Um, the MAC Eye Coal in I Get No Cake, which is my waterline shade. I'm trying to use this up. I'm not sure if I can make it for this project pan, but I will definitely be continuing to use this even after the project pan is over. So, um, And the last one is my Manhattan Exact Eyeliner in True Turquoise. I have used one of these up already and I'm now trying to just get a bit more use out of this one before the year is up. For my eyebrows I'm using my oops, my two staples, my Catrice Eyebrow um, Stylist in 020 Date with Ashton and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in Blonde. I'm also trying to work on my uh, Turn It Off Ultra Black Eyeliner Pen Waterproof. Um, I quite like this, but I'm not 100% sure this is the perfect liner for me, so I'm going to continue using this until I figure it out. And um, I may continue purchasing this if I think it's a good liner for me. If not, I'll just try another one. For uh, lip products, I actually have a few. And, um, pardon me, one is missing. So I have my um, Buxom Big and Healthy Lipstick in Shanghai. This is a um, dark wine colored shade and I like this quite a bit because I can sheer this out or I can use this in the dark color and um, I like having the variety. Then I decided to pull out this guy here. This is the Astro Soft Sensation Lip Color Butter in 020 Loved Up. This is what I have on my lips today. It's a relatively nudie shade and I'm trying to use this up because it is almost empty. And then I have my uh, Manhattan Sweet and Tasty Lip Gloss in Caribbean Grapefruit, which is part of my project pan. For mascaras, I am using uh, these two here in conjunction. A um, sweet subscriber um, told me that um, since I don't like the L'Oreal um, Vol Volume Million Lashes Excess Mascara on its own, and I'm trying to use this up, I should just use this as a base and then add a second mascara over top of it. And that is what I've been doing for the past week or so. And um, I have actually topped this up with my um, La Vera uh, Long Lash Mascara. La Vera is cruelty free and I think it may even be vegan. I'm not 100% sure about that though. Um, and um, I like the combination a lot. Um, the La Vera Mascara is what I have on my lashes today exclusively because I wanted a more natural look and um, I actually quite like what it does because it gives me quite long lashes and um, this one just um, doesn't do that and it doesn't give me volume either. So in combination I get um, longer lashes and a bit more volume so that is quite nice. And then for perfumes I am working on my um, Dita Von Tees perfume still. But um, if I don't want to use this... I decided to um, leave these two in. I had these in my last makeup basket because I wanted to um, just take the smaller ones with me on location. And um, while I did that, I just didn't really use them. So I'm keeping them in again and I'm gonna um, try finishing them up uh, um, eventually too. So this here is the uh, Christina Aguilera By Night perfume and this is the Victoria's Secret uh, Sex Little Things Noir perfume. 
this was actually it for my uh, makeup basket. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye!